no. I look like a piece of graph paper. In this video, I am going to continue my Draw My Life of the Life and Times of Inwills. Last video, we stopped at 11. In this video, we're going to look for il at 11 to 18. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome back. If you were lucky enough to catch last week's premiere, uh, my first premiere on YouTube, or you will have seen me narrate my way through my life zero to age 11. Now, if you missed it, do not worry. You can go and follow the link down below and see it in all its wonder, as well as my superb artistic skills. But in this video, we are going to go from age 11 to 18 and of course it will be accompanied with my usual attempts at drawing on my graphics pad but before we get into the artistic con content can i please remind you that if you have um, enjoyed this video or any of my content then please consider liking comment and subscribing to the channel and don't forget to press that bell button for notification when i go uh, when i upload a video and also, if you would li like to provide some additional help, if you know what I mean, then you can find my link to my Patreon page down below. So without further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty of this. Let's get rid of this paraphernalia around about me and let's zoom in on the, <coughs> oh, excuse me, on the drawing pad so we can start to draw. Let me just have a quick sip of coffee because I thought I was about to choke. Okay then, so we left me passing the 11 plus if you remember and I passed the 11 plus and when I passed my 11 plus that meant that I actually got to go to a grammar school. Now the grammar school was um, very posh. I remember calling this is meant to be a blazer. It's not very good, isn't it? Well, I have to actually tell you what I'm drawing. It's, it doesn't, doesn't really speak very highly of my artistic talent. Um, anyway, I went to a grammar school and I must admit, I'm quite pleased that I'm getting this part of my life over and done with in this video because I was school was not the best place for me and not the best place for me now I I wouldn't say I was bullied or anything like that but I really I was one of these people who really liked uh, this is a book by the way um really liked primary school and then I went to secondary school and it was unbelievable i went from being almost like the top in the class to being the bottom of the class i remember that i couldn't spell at all and if you um remember my um first video um when i spelt were like this um i was bad i couldn't spell um the teachers at grammar school their way of teaching was to to dictate notes to us I have no I had no idea how to spell at all I remember an English master telling me that my handwriting was um, illegible and I would look I could just remember red marks all over it and I had to change the way I wrote I couldn't find a way to be legible everything slowed down I really felt that I had lost my intelligence, if that makes sense to anyone. I also found it was the first time in my life that I found that I didn't fit in. I, I didn't seem to fit in to sort of like the, the normal everyday group of people. And I remember sort of like um, knowing a group of people, but really and truly looking back on it, this is a group of people, I was just sort of like the the odd one out. I, I really didn't fit in at all. 
and they were all interested in politics and things like this they were very rich and i was trying to be somebody i wasn't going through teenage years and it really was quite disastrous i can safely say that i hated school i felt that i couldn't do anything anymore i struggled with everything um, I even remember that I sort of like fell out with a group of people and then found myself just by myself all the time and I really longed for school to end. I did all right in my O levels. I got some A's in things like maths and biology and but then B's in things like chemistry and history and geography and C's in English, D's in Latin and yeah I did Latin and E's in English literature and really and truly I mean if if I had to sum up my time um, in school I would just really like to put a massive cross through it all it was something that I really uh, care to um, forget um, completely and utterly and although um, I, I just I just didn't fit in full stop and then that was it I'm just um, getting a new sheet of paper to get rid of all this rubbish uh, like so um, so yes yeah, so um, things didn't go well at school but I went on and did A levels. I had a huge amount of time off school. Um, I had my appendix out that nearly burst. I was in hospital on a drip for a week. Then I didn't go to school. Then I got anxious about going back to school. I had some hideous haircuts. And yeah, I didn't fit in at all. And I can safely say, looking back, school was definitely not the best time of my life. However, there were some things that I really enjoyed during this um, time. And the first thing was that I, I became a member of a youth organization. Now, I had already been, this is me, um, I had already been um, or tried to become part of um, uh, Scouts and had failed um, miserably um, scouts was definitely not for me at all um, but then i came across an organization called the boys brigade founded in 1883 i think it was by william alexander smith and i suddenly found myself um, ha having an identity and I really, it, Boys Brigade used to be on a, on a Friday night and I used to look forward to Boys Brigade so much. It was my B end, it, it was the highlight of my week. And I used to love um, going out um, and putting my uniform on and joining in the activities and we had a fantastic person leading it and i really can say that it was i loved it i really loved it 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 was a church organization and one of the things was that you had to attend church so i used to go to church every sunday some sundays i used to go twice one in the morning and one at the on the evening i used to go to bible class at, at church in the morning and then go for the afternoon evening service and then stay afterwards and have some kind of youth organization when we got together played badminton it's when i first l learned how to play table tennis and i i really loved it and just to sort of like see how much i loved it i actually ended up um, forming my own company along with my mom and I became a captain of a boys brigade and and I did it and we even had um, when I was at boys brigade I was in a band in a marching band and I learned to play um, the drums and I would be a drummer in the marching band and then later on and later on um, when I formed my own band I actually became what this looks like a giant pin 
but it's not it's a, I became a drum major and actually led led the um parades round and it, it was a wonderful experience and I really really loved it so even though school was dire I actually lived for boys brigade and really really loved it it was also um, at this time that um, something else came into my life and I'm just trying to um, clear my page here and something else came into my life and you can probably imagine what it was because I'm just looking at my notes um, age about 14 my older sister um, was going out with somebody and I remember them telling me about this fantastic game that you you pretended to be somebody else and you roll dice and everything and I suddenly thought what is this and I don't know if you remember from my previous video but I was very bored as a child and my brain had nothing to sort of like work at and think about and all of a sudden they they I was actually um I was introduced to this wonderful game that um, I'd never heard of before and the uh, the two um, lads um, persuaded me to take my £8.50 that I had been saving up to buy Christmas presents and go down into town after school when it was dark and I, this was completely new to me. And we actually, they actually took, they were older than me and they took me down and we actually bought the basic. And if you remember it, it was in like a reddish pinkish box, the basic edition of Dungeons and Dragons. And this was when I started role playing. It was almost like, what? And it, d and in those days um, was not well received. There was a lot of um, talk about um, d and role players being um, demon worshippers, um, worshipping Satan, etc. And it was very um, comical and to, to laugh at. I actually remember once taking the, the basic Dungeons & Dragons book to school with me to read. And one of the clear things, it was in French and the French teacher was marking and he said, let's just get on with something or let's just get on with something. And I took out the, the basic Dungeons and Dragons book and I started to read it. And I remember the person next to me um, leaning over to me and said, what whispering in low voice, what on earth are you reading? And I said, oh, it's this Dungeons and Dragons. It's really good. And they said, you better put that away before I tell, tell everyone what you're actually reading, weirdo. And I just looked like folded it up and slowly put it away. And it's almost like Dungeons and Dragons then went underground because I was obsessed by it. I do think it was because of Dungeons and Dragons that I did so badly in my A-levels. But I loved it and I remember making up characters after characters and I I instantly became excited about wizards and made up I used to create these characters and and draw them and because of course there was no computers at this point um, at all and so if you wanted to do anything you just had to draw it and I, I remember trying to desperately um, get oh no that's gone wrong ignore the geeky face um, I remember drawing characters and making up characters my, my first ever character was in, in good old D&D fashion was called um, Thorin Iron Bear and he was a dwarven fighter and in basic D&D your race was your class and I suddenly fell in love with the game and it became and I think what it was and I really do think this I think what it was was that I could actually start to be somebody I I wasn't I, I had this um, almost like this um, escapism 
and I re remember very clearly that um, you know we would uh, me and my brother and I uh, we became um, avid sort of like um, players of the game and I would spend all my money on things and you know there was always um, we used to have those little um, floor plans um, you know with little uh, figures on them that used to um, be sort of like um, characters and you know I had the DM screen that I used to peer over and oh uh, do you know and we had the wonderful dice and everything and I can safely say it was uh, Dungeons and Dragons was one of those areas in life that I really became um, I loved it and I think looking back on it it was almost like that idea of um, escapism I suddenly could um, almost like escape the 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 real world that I I wasn't enjoying at all and um, go to this world this looks like a horse but it's meant to be a dragon um, go to this world that was magical and exciting and everything and there were so many rules and um, th rules and myths and everything to remember that my brain just started to soak up all of this these facts and knowledge and I suddenly became very knowledgeable of it and of course took on the role uh, of the dungeon master now I think those are almost like three different parts of my life this idea that school was making me very down and uh, you know just thinking about it still just thinking about it it was awful I remember that we had to sit in alphabetical order and you didn't sit next to each other you had your own desk and um, I was you had to sit in alphabetical order according to surnames and the masters called you by their your surname and they actually use your surname so if your surname was Smith they would say Smith like this and I remember the guy behind me always used to kick my chair right the way through sessions so every time I was trying to make notes all I could do was bang 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 on my chair it was absolutely awful I hated it and I, yeah I, I, I must sort of like stop myself sort of like going over and over and over it because you must sort of like get saying oh we don't want to hear that but Boys Brigade and Dungeons and Dragons actually gave me something to keep going about I did mention that I failed my A levels well I didn't fail my A levels I, I actually took chemistry physics and biology and I'm forgetting to draw sorry and um, I took chemistry, physics and biology and I don't know why I did chemistry, physics and biology. I really do not know why I even attempted three sciences. But this is a flower for biology. Um, but I did and I botched them. I really, I didn't do any work. I know I didn't. Uh, my intelligence was as draining out of me and I ended up getting four D's yeah I actually and I'm quite happy to say it I got four D's um, I needed three C's to go to university and I didn't get three C's I got four D's oh I had to take general studies which I was ultimately poor at as well so I got four D's um, which wasn't enough for um, to go to the university of my choice um, Nottingham Trent would have had me for biology couldn't go there and was really at sort of like a wit's end about it I didn't know what to do I remember collecting my A-level results and thinking everybody else was celebrating and I felt that I was the only one that hadn't got anything and I remember talking to uh, a teacher and they said sorry you need to go down to um, Piccadilly house and see if somebody will have you boy like this so I thought all right fair enough and um, so I went out and I went down I didn't go home 
I went straight to Piccadilly House and I started to look at um, clearing, it's called now, but trying to find universities that would have me. And there was nothing like the internet. You had to go and pick up perspectives from the shelves and try to find courses that you could do. Now, uh, rather than leaving this on a real downer, I have to say at this point that um, somebody did offer to have me. And it was down in London and what they said that they wanted to interview me and so i was all prepared to go down and do an interview and sort of like the the friday before the interview on the monday um we got a phone call saying no no we're, we're quite happy to accept you you don't need to come down for an interview and i was thinking right now there was one major flaw in this plan and it really was a major flaw i had not been to this university i had no idea well it was a college um a college of higher education that's what it was and i've never been there i had no idea what it looked like where it was or anything and i just thought right this is the only place that's going to have me so i'll accept it and it was therefore you know sometime in september a long time ago that my mom and I boarded um, a train um, to London, um, went down, got a taxi to the place, had no idea what I was letting myself into and arrived at a university or college of higher education that I had no idea what it looked like or anything. And that really started the next part of my life. And in the next episode i will be looking at age 18 to 22. you might think 22 is a weird number but you'll see why a little bit later okay let's wipe this and put on my fancy gizmos again yeah so so that's it um sorry if it was a bit all over the place i don't have fond memories of school and i think it's not good for me to dwell on it but yeah and sorry i didn't do a lot of drawing today but i i will do more next time i promise you yeah so if you have enjoyed this video then please consider liking commenting and subscribing and yeah do come back next week when i will go from age 18 to 22 and you can see how I recovered from four D's and being a total and utter failure into something that I quite liked. Until next time, please remember to be who you are and say what you think. Because people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun and I'll catch you all later. And until then, ha what? happy drawing. See you all later.